Hello and welcome back to Elite Cloud. In this video, we are going to learn how to install Nginx on your EC2 instance in Amazon Linux 2023. First, connect to your EC2 instance. You can get the IP address and connect using the SSH private key or use Instance Connect to connect to your instance. I will use a terminal. I have one terminal here. Let's connect with SSH I private key, username at IP. Once you're logged in, run the command sudo dnf update minus y. And you will see everything is up to date, so there is nothing to do. Next, run the command sudo dnf install engine x minus y. and you will see our engine X is successfully installed. Now we have to activate engine X. We do this using sudo system ctl start engine X. This will start engine X. You can check the status. And you will see that Engine X is running. However, you might notice it says the service is disabled. Meaning if we restart the instance, the service won't start automatically. To fix this, run sudo system ctl enable Engine X. Now, if we check the status again, you will see that Engine X is enabled and running. Now we have Engine X installed and enabled. Copy the IP address and browse it in your web browser. If nothing is happening, it is likely due to security group rules. Check your inbound rules and you will see, we have only one inbound rule allowing port 22. For this web server, we also need to enable port 80. Click on your security group. Click on edit inbound rules. Add a new rule. Select HTTP. Set it to IPv4 anywhere. For HTTPS, you also need to enable port 443. Set this to anywhere, and save it. Remember, this only allows IPv4. If you need IPv6, add a separate rule for IPv6. Now that the rules are done, refresh your browser. And you will see welcome to Engine X, meaning we have successfully installed Engine X. Next, you can change the default Engine X file to whatever you like. The default path is slash user slash share slash engine x slash html. Replace index.html with your custom file. I will copy a demo website here. And you will see that the website has successfully changed. Once you are done, it's advisable to stop the EC2 instance. That's it for this video. Thank you for being with Elite Cloud. 